Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements of Windows 11 Insider Program, in the release preview channels, version 22H2, build 22621.3951, and version 23H2, build 22631.3951. So without further ado, let's begin. For nearby sharing to work, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth must be on. If they are off when you turn on nearby sharing, Windows will ask you to allow them to be turned on. This feature might not be available to all users, because it will roll out gradually. When you right-click a tab, you have the choice to duplicate it. This feature might not be available to all users because it will roll out gradually. You can drag apps from the pinned section of the menu and pin them to the taskbar. This feature might not be available to all users, because it will roll out slowly with time. File Explorer gets some improvements in multiple crashes and hangs. Fixes in memory leak when interacting with archive folders. Starting a search from home in File Explorer may unexpectedly show no results the first time you attempt a search. The address bar dropdown appears unexpectedly sometimes while you are using File Explorer, for example when renaming a file. After a DWM crash, when you open File Explorer it may just show a blank area on top instead of rendering the area correctly. File Explorer doesn't react when using the back and forward buttons on a mouse while hovering over the recommended files section of home. The search box doesn't show the correct folder name when you are in gallery. Pictures in File Explorer gallery might flash or flicker when scrolling. When using the save dialog, if you try to save a file to gallery in File Explorer shows an error, the spacing between your desktop icons unexpectedly may become extremely wide. The logic for the end task option has been updated in the taskbar, so that it no longer shows a not responding dialog to give confirmation before ending the task. There are some issues in the Windows Defender application control, a memory leak occurs that might exhaust system memory as time goes by. This issue occurs when you provision a device. Windows Defender fails to verify the policies of some apps. In Bluetooth, you cannot put calls on hold from Bluetooth peripherals. In Group Policy Preferences Item Level Targeting ILT, and Local Users and Groups, you cannot choose a group from the target domain for ILT, also you cannot choose an account from Local Users and Groups. The forest does not appear. This issue occurs when you deploy multiple forests, and the target domain has a one-way trust with the domain of the admin. This issue affects Enhanced Security Admin Environment ESAE, Hardened Forests, or Privileged Access Management Deployments. In Transmission Control Protocol Internet Protocol DCPIP, the issue causes high CPU usage and loss of packets. It also affects DCP connection success rates. In Windows Kernel Vulnerable Driver Block List File, this update adds to the list of drivers that are at risk for bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. In Windows Backup, Backup sometimes fails. This occurs when a device has an extensible firmware interface system partition. The cache manager might stop responding. This issue occurs when you use hyper-threading on Windows Server 2022. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.